Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Amazing Life by Kaushiki and today I am here with another DIY. Well, you are going to love this DIY because I am making a jar candle. Well, jar candle has been there on YouTube for a very long time. But along with the jar candle, we are making matchbox in the jar. Well, it is a perfect functional decor to put right next to your jar candle. They'll make it a stylish statement to your coffee table or your bedside table. Well, first I would like to thank all those people who have given me so many likes on my videos. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. We do a lot of DIY decor, home decor, uh, shopping hauls recipe sharings you name it we do it well if that excites you then please welcome aboard and let's get started with today's video So today we are making this jar candle and this matchbox jar. If you pair them together, they make a perfect gift for Diwali, birthday, Christmas, New Year. Let me show you how I started doing this. First I took some wax. Now these are the wax that uh, are leftovers from my old candles. You can also buy wax from Amazon and I'll leave that link in the description box. Now I'm melting this wax directly on the flame but uh, you can always go for a double boiler. Now the caution over here is all the utensils that you are using for candle making you cannot use it for cooking again. So this is one of my old saucepan and uh, knife. The best part about these candles, candle making is that you can use all those leftover candles and melt them, pour them in a jar and you are good to go. The flame on the gas is really low, absolutely. Now this is the canister that I'm using and I have spray painted it with uh, some gold and silver. I have got this wick from Amazon, you need a fairly quick and some ice cream sticks. I'll put some fabric wick at the end of the wick holder. Now these wick come already pre-made, pre-treated with wax. So it's really easy to make a jar candle or any candle with this. Make sure it is right in the center. Now Fabric Wick helps to stick this uh, really fast. You can use any kind of a super glue which is slightly heat resistant. With ice cream stick what I'm going to do is I'm going to place three ice cream sticks and try and hold the wick straight. You don't need to buy those uh, wick stands or anything, any fancy stuff. You can also use uh, those uh, cloth clips that you have for drying the clothes. Now the wax over here, this is the main point, that the wax over here has cooled down considerably. If you can see there is a skin that is forming on the side of the pan. This is when you know that the wax is ready to be poured. So hold the wick and very slowly start pouring the wax in it. Don't put all the wax in one go because there might be some dirt that has been collected by melting the old wax. 
clean the sides. And again hold the wick in place using these ice cream sticks. And let it cool down. Now once the wax cools down, it will sink a little at the bottom and make a concave shape. So later on we'll again pour some more wax in it and cut the wick and get ready for lighting the candle. Can you see this? This is the first pour and there is a lot of bubble and there is a concave shape that has formed. Now I've melted a little more wax that was uh, left and to this I'm adding a little bit of essence to it. This is a specific candle essence. You can also add essential oils if you like to. I'm adding green apple and cinnamon. This is perfect for October, November month. They make my house smell so good. So I just love the smell of the cinnamon. I have added this. <coughs> Again, the temperature of the wax is really important. It should not be too hot. I've mixed it and now I'm going to slowly pour the wax on top of the frozen wax or the settled wax, you can say so. completely this time now for the second uh, part of the video I'm using this uh, spice jar some matchbox very quick and a scissor so the jar should be absolutely clean and dry and I will use one of the matchbox and cut these two sides from where we used to light it. Make sure the surface of the jar is absolutely dry and clean. So I just cut this. this as neatly as possible. I've seen a lot of uh, people using sandpaper also but I don't know how much it works so I prefer using these matchbox sides because they make sure that every time you strike a match on this they light for sure. So using the uh, super glue or uh, very quick We will stick these strips. Now I've used I've used uh, two methods where I put the fabric uh, quick directly on the strip and then try and stick it. I found this a little more difficult than uh, putting on the surface. So it was kind of sticking to the hands and it's not a good thing to have super glue on your fingers. It takes a lot of time to take it out. So I didn't enjoy this method but yes if you apply directly on the surface of the uh, bottle it is far more easy. So you just need to make sure that where you want to put this so and then put the fabric quick right there and put the strip on top. If you're liking this video then please consider subscribing to our channel and like this video and share it with your friends and family. It means a lot to us. We are also there on Instagram and we share a lot, lot more videos and uh, stories on Instagram behind the scenes. 
so do follow us on instagram and pinterest now i went ahead and printed these labels and uh, they just say safety matches and uh, it's a small printable and uh, so uh, to create this label i used a app called canva and if you have not uh, used this app then you have to that is one of the best things that i have used so this video is no way sponsored by canva let me just clarify this now if you can see once i stuck the label i could still see the super glue uh, visible behind the label and i was not happy with that outcome so i scraped that label i'll just show you Let's see i just can i just didn't like this portion and it was somehow not going away i scraped that and now i got this uh, same label in a circular shape and i stuck it on and i was so happy so so use very quick to stick the uh, lightable uh, match strips that uh, and to stick the labels use a uh, fairy stick instead our candle is also ready so let's trim the wick and that's my daughter i have got this handmade with love label from amazon and i so love this it is super super pretty and uh, you just tie this around the jar and it makes the person whom you're gifting know that this you made by yourself and it makes the whole aesthetic of the gift look far more appealing so the person really admires your effort it's a slight little touch my daughter always loves to come for all my youtube videos whatsoever done i had to push her a little back so that i can show you how i like this match box uh, so i really recommend this uh, handmade with love tag it's very cute and it comes in i think 50 or 100 stack and i'm planning to use this for many of my handmade gifts again this is not sponsored it is absolutely on my uh, honest reviews i wish the thread in this would have been a little longer the, the jute string that they provide otherwise the label is really really good so this is our gift and let's see if this works or not just take out a match stick from the bottle close the lid turn the bottle on the side That's it. Now you can go as fancy as possible with the bottle. You can get a marble bottle. You can get uh, a ceramic bottle. So you can go as fancy as possible. And I have placed it on my coffee table, and it looks so good. So again, if you like the video, please like this and share it with your friends and family. This will mean a world to me and thank you so much guys for watching my channel. Your love and support has helped me to keep on posting and it motivates me so much. All my social media links are in the description box. So do check out. You can also check out all the Amazon links in the description box below.